Hi, if you are new to Tableau or you don't know the differences between Tableau Public and Desktop, you are here in the right place because I'm gonna go and explain those. Let's go. Alright guys, so welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Barra Zalkini and I am IT Architect. In this video, I'm gonna go in details and explain for you guys what are the differences between Tableau Public and Desktop. Because whenever I first start working with Tableau, it was kinda like confusing which tool I'm gonna use. So after working with Tableau Public, I was wondering why I would go and pay for Tableau Desktop if I have all the features that I need. So I will try in this video in very simple way to show you guys what are the differences between Public and Desktop to help you to choose the right tool. Alright guys, so now in order to start comparing Tableau Public with Tableau Desktop, I'm gonna start both of the applications, put them side by side so we can immediately see the differences between them. So I have here already installed both of the applications. I have here Tableau Public and Tableau Desktop. In another tutorial, I showed you guys step by step how you can download them and install them. So you can check that if you haven't done that already. So I'm gonna start now Tableau Public. And now I have it here on the left side. And I will go as well and start Tableau Desktop. And I have it here on the right side. So on the left side, we have the starting page of Tableau Public. And on the right side, we have the starting page of Tableau Desktop. And as you might already noticed, the first differences between them is data connection. In Tableau Public, you can connect only to files. That means you can connect to Excel, text, JSON, and so on. But in Tableau Desktop, you have many other options. You still can connect to files as well but you have like options like databases, clouds, ABIs, and so on. So if you click here on more, you will see more than 80 different data connectors, like databases, Postgres, and so on. So the list is very long. Oracle stuff, the Azure cloud, and so on. So here is the first differences between them. If your data is in databases or in cloud, you need to work with Tableau Desktop. But if you are only working with files, you still can work with Tableau Public. All right, guys, so now I have here like chart to explain the differences between them in very simple way. So we have here in the middle our tools, Tableau Desktop and Tableau Public, and it is under the data visualization. And on the left side, we have the data connections. On the right side, we have the data sharing. We're gonna talk about it later. So now, as we saw, with Tableau Desktop, we can connect to many different data connections. We can connect to files, to server, ABIs, cloud, databases, and many other stuff. And with Tableau Public, we can connect only to local files. So now we have the first, let's say, differences between Tableau Desktop and Tableau Public. Let's see the next one. All right, guys, so now we are back to the tools and let's find out other differences. I'm gonna go now inside the working sheet. You can do that by clicking on Tableau icon here. I'm gonna do that for public and the same for desktop. So the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna compare the menu. At the top, you will find here stuff like file, data, worksheet, dashboard. And in desktop here, you will find exactly the same stuff. But the only difference here is that you have menu for server and in public you will not find it. So let's click on server and you will find here options like sign in, publish and connect to Tableau public as well. So let's click on sign in. So here you can see we can connect to Tableau server or we can connect to Tableau online. So now we have here in Tableau desktop three options. We can connect to Tableau Server or Tableau Online or to Tableau Public. With Tableau Public on the left side, we can connect only to Tableau Public. And you can do that by clicking on File and you can publish your work to only Tableau Public. So here is our second difference between them. All right, guys, so now let's continue working in our big picture. Underneath the data sharing, we found that we have three options, Tableau Server, Tableau Online and Tableau Public. If you are working now and building your dashboard using Tableau Desktop, 
you can publish your work to all of them. That means you can publish to Tableau Server, you can publish to Tableau Online, and as well the same for Tableau Public. But if you are working and building your dashboard with Tableau Public, you can publish your work only to your account in Tableau Public. So now you find that with Tableau Desktop, we have many options like in the data connections and as well in data sharing. So now if you ask me why do I need like Tableau Server or Tableau Online, the only thing that people use them is for data security. Because here with Tableau Server and Online, you can control who can access your data and your dashboard. But with Tableau Public, once you upload your dashboard there, everyone can see that. So here is like big problem with the security. So if the data security is not like problem for you, you can still working with Tableau Public. But if you are working like an organization and on projects and you are uploading the data and the data is like, let's say sensible. So you have to work with server or online. All right, guys. So now we are back to the working sheet. And if we keep searching for differences between public and desktop, we will not find any major stuff. For example, the toolbar here in public, it's exactly the same one here in desktop. If you go to the analytics, you will find exactly the same functions. And here as well in the visualizations, they are the same in desktop. That means if you start working with like with sheets, dashboards, stories, and building your dashboards, you will not find any differences between public and desktop. So now let's go to the next one, it's the data sources. So in order to compare the data sources, I'm gonna connect both of public and desktop to one text file. So let's go to public, data source, and click here on text file, connect to my file, and do the same for desktop, go to data source, text file, and connect to my file as well. So now we are at the data source page. If you compare both of them, you will not find like big differences. The only difference here is in desktop, you have connection type. You can select between live and extract. In Tableau Public, you don't have this option because it's always as extract. I will not go in details and explain the differences between live and extract, but I will show you here one example. So let's go to my account at Tableau Public. For example, I have this dashboard here. And the data source for this dashboard is a text file. If I go there and do some changes on the data, those changes will not be reflected immediately in this dashboard. And in order to do that, I need to upload and publish this dashboard again in Tableau Public in order to see those changes. So with Tableau Public, you need always to do that once you change the data. But in Tableau Desktop, you can set that to live. That means any changes on the data will be reflected immediately in the dashboard. So this is the major difference here in data sources between Tableau Public and Tableau Desktop. So there is like some limitations in Tableau Public that you won't face in Desktop. One of them is saving your work. If you go to Public, click on File. Here, the only option you have is that you're gonna save your dashboard at your account at Tableau Public. So you cannot save it locally at your machine. But in Desktop, if you click on File, you can save your work at your computer or laptop. Another limitation is that the data source itself in public, it doesn't allow to have more than 10 million rows. And in desktop, there is no such limitation. One last limitation that I'm gonna show you guys in Tableau Public is the storage limitation. If you go to your account at Tableau Public and click on your icon here, you will find the maximum storage or space of your account is 10 gigabyte. That means you cannot upload more than that. And of course, in Tableau Desktop, if you are using server or online, you can have more than that. All right, guys, so after we went through all of those details, I'm gonna give you now a real quick overview to see the differences between Tableau Public and Desktop in one page. So now let's start with the price. Tableau Public is free to use. Where Tableau Desktop, you have here three options. First, you can download it for free 14 days. Or if you are a student, you can get it for free one year. 
And the last option is that you go and buy the product key. So now in terms of security, Tableau Public doesn't guarantee any security. That means if you publish your work, everyone can see that. Where in Tableau Desktop, you can control that because you are using Tableau Server and Tableau Online, and there you can control who can access your data and your dashboard. So now if you are talking about data connection, with Tableau Public, you can connect only to your local files. Where in Tableau Desktop, you can connect to many different stuff like files, servers, databases, cloud, APIs, and many other options. So now, if you are talking about data sharing, you can publish your work or share it only on your account in Tableau Public. Where in Desktop, you can upload and publish your work to Tableau Server, Tableau Online, and Tableau Public. Now, we talked about the limitations in Tableau Public. That your account can have maximum of storage of 10 gigabytes. The data source has maximum of 10 million rows and you cannot save your work at your local machine. Those limitations don't exist in Tableau Desktop. So now we have the full picture of the differences between Tableau Public and Tableau Desktop. And now in order to choose between them, it really depends on what you are planning to do with Tableau. So I can imagine the following scenarios for that. If you are a student, I would say that you go with Tableau Desktop for free one year. But if you want just to learn Tableau and to create some awesome visualizations and stuff like that, I would say that you go with Tableau Public. You won't need the Tableau desktop features for that. Now for the scenario of data science, here you have two main problems with Tableau Public. Is that first, the connections, because you work usually with data lakes, clouds, APIs, and stuff like that, and you're gonna need Tableau desktop for that. And the second thing is that the 10 gigabyte here, it's annoying because if you are working with big data, the 10 gigabyte won't be enough for you. So I would recommend here that you go and start first with Tableau Public and in case those limitations are not acceptable, so you go and switch to Tableau Desktop. And the last scenario that I can see here is that if you are working in organizations and you are starting like BI projects, most of your organization data would be sensitive data. So that means you cannot go public with those data. So here I cannot see like other option as Tableau Desktop, Tableau Server and online. All right guys, so that's why it's tutorial to understand the differences between Tableau Public and Tableau Desktop. If you want to learn more about Tableau or working with data, click on subscribe so you don't miss any content. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. See ya!